stars a nationally renowned career counselor and social entrepreneur mr mohit mangal who is going to guide you students regarding career choices mr mangal has experience in counseling for more than 16 years and has guided more than 6 lakh students so it's our fortune that he is amit sir today hope the students make the most of his words of wisdom and guidance now without me wasting much of the time i would request sir to start today's session thank you sir for accepting our invitation sir thank you so much gitanjali ma'am for your kind words uh, i am able to see uh, hear a lot of echo uh, so i hope my voice my is your end and uh, if the voice is not echoing at your end uh, can you please uh, for a moment unmute yourself and let me know that the voice is clear before i kick off the session for the day gitanjali ma'am or uh, the hosts who have uh, joined from army public school can you please unmute yourself and confirm yes, my voice is not echoing yes sir your voice is not at all echo perfect so you thank can you go ahead thank you uh namaskar friends uh, for uh, you know the comfort of all the children who are sitting there in ahmedabad uh, army public school uh, auditorium uh, very warm welcome to all of you uh, before i start my session for the day can i have another quick check with all the children do you want me to conduct this entire session in english as a language of communication or aap chahte hain ki ye session mein english hindi mixed language mein lo kaun sa language aapko zyada comfortable rahega can i have some response Sir, English, sir. Complete session to be. Yes, English. sir. Complete English. session to be in English, sir. Great. Thank you. So, uh, I believe uh, all the children who are sitting and spending time with me uh, from the other end, all children are spread across class nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, right? So today, uh, Army Public School Ahmedabad hosts this session, which we have titled as "How to Choose the Right Career Option After School." My name is Mohit Mangal. Uh, Gitanjali Ma'am has given a, a you know beautiful introduction. Thank you so much once again, Gitanjali Ma'am. I am author of a career guide known as Career Guide 2020, which has been recommended by CBSE Delhi and has been sent to all the CBSE schools across the country. So. Uh, you know today session i'll be having three objectives on which i shall be talking to you so our first objective shall be all the children who are studying in grade let us say uh, 10 uh, for those children you will be able to identify how to choose the right career after uh, grade 10 and for all the children who have already chosen a particular stream in grade 11 and 12 i shall talk to you about how you can assess whether you are in the right stream or not and once you have assessed your uh, rightness of stream then you can go ahead and uh, you know uh, explore the options which are available after grade 12 and in today's presentation i will share with you details of more than 20 different verticals and i shall talk to you about more than 250 degree options give me a moment okay so what was the traditional method of choice even when our parents were studying the traditional method of choice was if you got good marks now this definition of good varied from people to people state to state community to community but if you got good marks you were sent to science everybody in and around you told you you are fit for science 
if you got average marks and you wanted to take science you went to your parents or your uh, you know guides and tell them that i want to take up science everybody will look at you probably laugh and say uh, you're not fit for science you should take commerce and if you've just managed to pass or have got uh, you know a little low grades uh, by by mistake or you know unfortunately uh, people in and around you uh, you always said that you are good for nothing so you should take arts first thing which i want to tell all the children whether you take humanities or what we call as arts or you take commerce or you take science all three choices are absolutely fantastic choices there is no difference between any one it is just that our societal system has somewhere or the other created that differentiation where people say science is good commerce is not arts is uh, bad this is not true each stream is good and why each stream is at an equivalent level is something which you will get to know in today's presentation as parents and teachers we have to educate students to look at their subjects of interest at grade 10 level and further at grade 12 level in order to make the right career choice how do you do it i will be sharing a self assessment tool with each one of you after which i'm sure all the children who are in grade 9 10 will become more clear about how to choose the right subject combination in grade 11 and 12 and all the children who are who have already chosen a set of subject combination in 11th and 12th you will become more clear as to whether you should go to the pure stream or you should shift your stream to an alternate stream after grade 12 to understand this self assessment tool you must understand that there are three types of children or you can say children can be divided in three different types the first category of children are children whom we call are academic oriented these children are children who love to read study spend time with books do a lot of research watch educational videos and they are comfortable sitting and studying for long hours these category or this particular category of children are children whom we call our academic oriented children the second category of children are children who are not that much into reading studying education they are more comfortable in talking discussing debating arguing interacting so these children we call are people oriented they are social creatures they are more comfortable interacting and they find it easy to communicate share their feelings understand others feelings even if they have to do the same with strangers they are known as people oriented children and the third category of children are children whom we call practical oriented or also creative oriented who are these children these children are neither too much comfortable with studying not too much comfortable in in you know talking discussing debating they are more comfortable in doing hands on practical things like drawing dance art craft music sports acting mimicry cookery photography film making cinematography sound editing video editing computer programming and so on and so forth these children are always interested in doing new and different things where they can involve themselves physically where they can involve themselves practically these are practical oriented children and the best part is all these three orientations academic people and practical or creative are there in every child first thing which you must try to assess about yourself is you are highest in which orientation second level at which one third level at which one also there are children who would be good or equal at two orientations third orientation may be higher or maybe lower than that and there could also be children who are a beautiful mixture of all three orientations if you've understood my talk 
in last two and a half, three minutes. I'm sure you would be in a position to know what is your orientation. What kind of task which you like to pick up in the, as your first priority? What shall be your second priority? And what shall be your third priority? If you've understood that, you all know what is your orientation graph. And based on this, you should take a call of identifying what you should be going ahead with or what you are right fit to go ahead with. What are the options after 10th in Indian education system? We all know, all the children who are 11th, 12th, they already know in 9th, 10th, if you don't know, quickly look, let's take a look at it. You can take a combination which is, uh, you know, popularly known as science A group combination where you study physics, chemistry and maths. You can take a combination of B group where you study physics, chemistry and biology. There is a combination known as AB group where you study all four, that is physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics. You can take up commercial studies combination where you study accounts, statistics, economics and business studies. And or you can take up what we call as arts or humanities or social sciences where you study subjects like history, geography, political science, sociology, psychology, philosophy, legal studies and so on. These are the subject combinations available in our Indian education system. So what are the qualities which match children who want to take the combination of physics, chemistry and mathematics? Quickly check. And for all the children who have already taken physics, chemistry, mathematics, you can check for yourself. Are you in the right stream? Fundamentally, you need to be very high at academic orientation whether you have people orientation or not, or you have practical orientation or not, it does not matter. But your academic orientation has to be there. Second, you should be excellent at science, especially physics, chemistry, and mathematics. And my definition of excellence, when somebody wants to pursue science as a curriculum, is your mathematics should be 95% plus, and your physics, chemistry should be 90% plus. Third, you should have the curiosity about uh, to know about the latest machines, gadgets, happenings in the technology world and so on. And last but not the least, you should have a very strong ability to sit and study for long hours. If you have all these four qualities, you have taken Science A group or you wish to take Science A group, you are going ahead with the right stream. Go ahead, take Science A group. What all can you do after Science A group? We all know about engineering, all know about technology. You can do an integrated BTEC, MTech, or BEME in technology or engineering. There is another course if somebody is also very creative along with their knowledge in science and maths, who are the people who can go for bachelors of fashion technology. And for children who are in ninth, 10th, you can also go ahead with a six year diploma plus degree combination program where you don't have to appear for any competitive exam. If you have merely 70% plus marks in grade 10, you can get into the diploma plus BTEC combination, which is a six year program straight away after 10th. Now, in engineering, you can see there are lots of branches which are there, which may include aerospace, aeronautical aircraft maintenance, automobile, biochemical, biological sciences, biomedical, ceramic, chemical, computer sciences, electrical, electronics, electronics and communication, electronics and electrical, electronics and instrumentation, engineering, physics, engineering, science, environmental, fire technology, food nutrition, food technology, genetics, geoinformatics, industrial systems, instrumentation, leather technology, manufacturing science, marine, material science, mathematics and computing, mechanical, mechatronics, metallurgical, mining, mining machinery, naval architecture, ocean, petrochemical, petroleum, plastic, polymer production, robotics, textile, and so on. I have given this list of around 55 different specializations which are available. And these specializations are little older specializations. If currently, today, I have to go ahead with an engineering uh, degree, there are more than 110 branches of engineering which are available, right? Next set of degree options which are available to children are under the umbrella of what we call as architecture of planning, where you can go ahead with Bachelor of Architecture, 
bachelor of interior design bachelor of planning or a btech in planning bachelor of architecture is a five year program rest all are four year programs next we talk about somebody who has taken combination of physics chemistry and biology or somebody who wish to take physics chemistry and biology you need to be very high at academic and people orientation both whether you have practical orientation or not really does not matter much along with that you should be excellent in all three sciences and my definition of excellence is biology should be 95% plus physics chemistry should be 90% plus along with that you should have excellent memorization power your memorization power has to be super strong and last but not the least you should have ability to sit and study for long hours if you have all these qualities then you are the right candidate to go for b group or what we call the combination of physics chemistry and biology now what are all the options after b group we all know about medicine and surgery where you can become an allopathic doctor dentist you can become an ayurvedic doctor yunani doctor siddh doctor naturopathy and yogic medicine doctor or a homeopathic doctor in this all except pts which is a five year program remaining all programs are five and a half year programs long beyond medicine one can also opt to go ahead with what we call as paramedical sciences where there is a four year bsc degree available and have multiple specializations which could include anesthesia cardiovascular critical care dialysis exercise and sports health information management medical imaging medical laboratory medical record neuroscience nuclear medicine nursing operation theater ophthalmic perfusion radiotherapy respiratory trauma care or x-ray beyond these degrees one can also join a diploma in nursing which could be anm or gnm and or one can go for optometry occupational therapy pharmacy or physiotherapy as a course under paramedical umbrella there is another set of degrees available under rehabilitation sciences for science b group children where you could specialize in prosthetics and orthotics you can go for audiology and speech language pathology you can go for rehabilitation science special education rehabilitation also one can opt to become a doctor for either animals or fishes where you can go for bachelors in veterinary sciences and animal husbandry which is again a five and a half year degree you can go for bachelor of fishery sciences or bsc in fisheries which are four year programs now whether you have taken science a group combination pcm or science b group combination pcb all children can opt to go for pure sciences or agricultural sciences after 12th in pure sciences you can choose to take specialization like anthropology applied physical science chemistry bioinformatics botany chemistry biomedical environmental science fire and safety forensic science film making geology genetics life sciences mathematics physics zoology also under agriculture you can go for agriculture sericulture horticulture forestry community science home science sericulture aquaculture mariculture and so on next we move to commerce now a lot of children when i go to schools i talk to them i ask them uh, you know those who are taken up commerce or who are studying in commerce i ask them why did you take commerce uh, a very general feedback which i get from the children is uh, sir science was too tough and humanities was uh, you know uh, socially not acceptable so once again i want to tell you that some of the best colleges in research or science in the world forget about india in the world have made humanities social sciences to be taught compulsorily to children who join these degree programs just for your information iisc bangalore which is supposed to be the mecca of pure sciences in india has made four subjects to be learned compulsory for every graduate joining scientific research so you can understand 
that now people are realizing the importance of humanities and social sciences. So you should also not ignore humanities and social sciences. It's a great thing to learn. It is a great branch to be in. So once again, coming back to commerce, those children who have not taken commerce by virtue of, uh, uh, you know, uh, that they might require to study hard since it is easy. Let me take commerce for them. There is a little bit of bad news. You need to be good at academic orientation if you want to take commerce. Whether you have people orientation or not, it does not matter. Whether you have practical orientation or not, it does not matter. But you need to have academic orientation for sure. Along with that, you need to be good at maths and you should like economics as a subject at 10th grade level. Again, a lot of children, when they come to me for counseling, I sit with them, do a brain map, and then I assess, I ask them, uh, you know, that what was your level in mathematics at grade 10? So they come up to me and said that we merely passed or we passed with 35, 40 marks. Now understand, if you are struggling with the numbers or numerics at grade 10 level, and you wish to take commerce, which falls under the umbrella of what we call as finance, you need to be practicing numbers throughout your life. It makes no sense. Along with being good with maths and economics, you need to have interest in business and business transactions. You should have liking for numbers and data analysis. If you have all these four qualities, commerce or commercial studies is the right option for you. What all you can do in degree option in commerce, you can do Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Commerce Honors Program. You can do BCom Professional, BCom in Sports Management. There is also BCom in Computer Sciences available. There is a BBA in Finance, BSc in Finance. Or you can do a five-year integrated commerce plus law degree program known as BCom LLB after 12. You can also go for higher level certification programs where you can become a CA, CS, CFA, CFP, ICWA, you can become an investment analyst, stockbroker after doing certifications of BSc, NSc, or you can do certification in the area of actuarial sciences and become a certified actuary. Next, we move to what we call as humanities social sciences. If you are a beautiful mixture of academic people and creative or practical orientation, you are good at subjects of languages and social sciences. That means you like English. Along with that, you like history, geography, civics, etc. You're good at theory, reading, and retaining. And you have got excellent observation power. Then humanities and social sciences can be one of an excellent option for you. A lot of children don't take humanities or there is another concept where people say, do science in 11, 12, you will, all, all fields will remain open for you. Or if you take commerce in 11, 12, there'll be more fields which will be open for you. I beg to uh, differ from this. Each field has got tremendous amount of opportunities. No special opportunities get open or no special opportunities get closed after taking any combination of subjects. So you can see on your screen, even after taking humanities, there are more than 75 different specializations which you can take up in graduation, starting from applied psychology to archeology, span economics, education, family and child welfare, geography, history, industrial relations, personal management, journalism and mass media, you can do a graduation in Indian language like Hindi, Urdu, Bengali, Sanskrit, Gujarati. You can do it in foreign language like English, German, French, Spanish. You can do literature, linguistics, museology, philosophy, physical education, yoga, political science, psychology, public administration, social work, or sociology. Also, there are BA, Bachelor of Arts degrees available in some skill-based courses like hotel management, culinary arts, dance, music, acting, sports, or one can do a five-year integrated BA LLB combination program, which is, will be a law degree, which will spread across five years. 
Now, if you come back and say, I have taken humanities in 11, 12, but I don't wish to continue with the degrees which you shared, or I've taken science A group, and now I don't wish to do engineering at all, or I've taken science B group, and I don't wish to uh, take uh, medicine as my uh, career choice at all, then what are the career options? As I told you, no set of subject combination restricts you from any special area. There are loads of general courses which are available to students from all streams. So whether you've graduated out of humanities, social sciences, commerce and finance, engineering studies or medical studies in 11, 12, these are list of degree programs or verticals which are open to everybody. So you can take up business management, computer applications, design, fine arts, economics, hotel management, law, liberal studies, mass communication, performing arts, sports and physical education, and last but not the least, armed forces. So I'll take maybe five, six more minutes. In that, I will quickly tell you the qualities of the child who should join business management or any of these allied courses. I will share with you the degree options available, and I will also quickly share with you the specializations which are available. And post that, I will open the house for questions. All the children who are with me online, they may please post their question uh, you know, on the uh, uh, chat box. And all the children who are physically present, they may please ask their question. And one of our co-hosts will connect your question to me and I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Quickly moving to business management, if you're a mixture of academic and people orientation, you have excellent leadership skills, good teamwork abilities, and you have keen interest in business transactions, then business management would be an excellent option. In India, you can do a three-year business management program or a five-year integrated MBA program. And now there are five IAMs at least who have started taking students after 12th for five-year integrated business management program, which is a BBA plus MBA program. So you can join IAM Indoor, Rotak, Ranchi, Jammu, and Bodhgaya. These are the five IAMs giving you an integrated management program. And I hope you all know, passing out from an IAM, you will not need to look back ever in your life. You will be highly placed. Your education standard will be great your learning will be awesome. So business management, two types of degrees you can do. You can specialize in business management in the area of marketing, advertising, promotions. You can specialize in finance or financial management, human source, public relations, international relations, industrial relations, systems and operations, information technology, logistics or international business. These are all specializations available in the business management domain. Next is computer applications. If you are a mixture of practical and academic orientation, you have very good logical thought process. You're interested in coding and computer languages, and you have the ability to sit in front of the computer for long hours. And when I say sit in front of the computer for long hours, does not mean sitting and playing PS4 or sitting and playing video games. That means sitting and working on the computer to either code a software or interact with the nitty gritties of the machine then computer applications can be an excellent option for you. In computer applications, you can do a BCA, Bachelor of Computer Applications. You can do a BBA in Information Technology, BTEC in, <coughs> sorry, BCom in Computer Sciences, <clears throat> BSc in Information Technology and Computer Sciences, or you can do an integrated program. And once again, answer is yes. Without even having studied engineering subjects or science subjects and without even having studied mathematics in 11th, 12th, you can still join computer area, be part of computer applications. And there are lots of specializations in the form of application design, artificial intelligence, audio, video, cloud computing, so digital media, social media, ethical hacking, e-gaming, game designing, machine learning, search engine optimization, search engine marketing, and so on. These all specializations can be taken up by anyone and everyone. You don't need to be a science student. You don't need to be a, a you know, mathematics student. Next, we move to design. If you are very high at practical orientation, 
you're good at visualization you're good at creativity and innovation design can be an excellent field in design you can take a degree in the area of fine arts visual arts applied arts interior design or you can do a bachelor of design where there are different specializations available including animation film ceramic glass exhibition video furniture interior graphic product textile and so on next we talk about economics quickly if you are good at academic orientation you have strong inclination towards mathematics analytics and economics and you have ability to analyze data and present it sufficiently well then you can be in league of some of the highest paid jobs in the world which which may uh, you know stand at a platform of not of what we call as data analysts right in economics you can do a degree in the area of ba bba bcom or bsc next is hotel management if you are extremely practical and people oriented child even if you are a little low at academic orientation perfectly fine does not matter it will work you have keen interest in cooking and serving you have excellent taste buds and you have the knowledge and you wish to be part of different cuisines then hotel management can be a very good option in hotel management you can go for a 3 year degree program or a 4 year degree program bachelor of hotel management hospitality and hotel administration tourism and travel management ba in hotel management ba in culinary arts and bba in different specialization they are all 3 year degree programs and bachelor of hotel management and catering technology is a 4 year program this is an engineering level of a program degree program in hotel management you can specialize in food and beverage production what we call as kitchen operations or becoming a chef you can get into food and beverage service housekeeping room management sales marketing banquet management front desk management or guest relations next is we get into law if you are a mixture of academic and people orientation you have ability to think and argue logically you can do a lot of reading and writing and you have interest in politics and social issues then law or legal studies could be one of an excellent option for you in law you can take a degree by the nomenclature of BLLB, BBLLB, BCom LLB or BSW LLB. For science students, there are two degrees. One is BSc LLB and other is even BTech LLB, which is available. And in law, next level of specializations could include administrative law, alternate dispute resolution, business law, constitutional law, criminal law, cyber law and cyber security, energy law, environmental law, human rights law, intellectual property law, humanitarian law, international law, jurisprudence, labor law, personal law. Next, we move to liberal studies. If you are a mixture of academic people and creative orientation, you like multiple subjects and you want to choose what you want to study, then liberal arts or liberal studies can be an excellent option. This is a brilliant concept where when you enter into the college, no degree is fixed. You study 60, 30 different subjects, which include humanities, social sciences, management, commercial studies, science, mathematics, performing arts. And then in third year, you choose a specialization in the form of a major. If you take a major in the area of humanities, social sciences, you get a degree, which is BA honors. If you take specializes in the area of marketing, finance, systems, operations, or management oriented course, then you get a degree, which is BBA honors. If you take specialization in the area of accounts or a similar subject, you get a degree in BCom honors. And if you take maths, physics, chemistry, biology as specialization, you get a degree which is BSc honors. So all four types of degrees are available. Next is mass communication. Again, if you are a combination of academic people and creative orientation, you're very good at writing a language. You're inquisitive. You have very strong questioning nature. And you have the ability to work for long hours with dedication on different issues, then mass communication could be very good options. You can be or take a three year degree in the area of journalism, mass communication, mass media, journalism and mass communication, journalism and filmmaking, or you could go for an integrated five year degree program. There are various specializations available in this, which may include acting, advertising, anchoring and reporting, cinematography, direction, electronic media, filmmaking, media planning, 
print media, public relations, social media, sound recording, video editing, video, visual communication, or writing. Next is performing arts. If you are extremely practical oriented child, you have got a very strong physical stamina and presentation skills. You have keen observation. You are extremely talented in any one of a performing art. And performing arts could be in three uh, uh, domains. Performing art could include singing, dancing, or acting. If you are good at any one of them, you can go ahead and take up a degree in performing arts, where the nomenclature could be Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Performing Arts, BA in various specialization, BA honors, or you can do music, dance. There are different specializations which may include classical vocal, classical Western vocal, instrumental string based, instrumental air based. You can go ahead and do classical dance or Western dance. And last is, but not the least, is what we call as drama and acting, or also known as theatrical studies or theatrical arts. Next is sports. Again, if you are highly practical oriented, you have good physical stamina, extremely talented, and you have interest and dedication to learn and practice any one particular sport then you can go ahead with a BA, BBA, BCom or a BSc degree in the area of sports. Also, there is a four year degree program in the area of physical education and sports, BPES, which you can take up after 12. Last but not the least, my personally favorite is you can get into armed forces. If you are very good at academic and people orientation, you're good at crisis handling, you're adventurous, physically strong, and you're ready to even lay your life for the country, then all boys and girls now can appear for an exam after 12th known as NDA and NA, that is National Defense Academy and Naval Academy exam, post which you can become an Army, Air Force, or a Naval officer. And the degrees which are granted to you are either BA or BE or BSc, depending upon your 11, 12th. And once again, yes, even a child from humanities or a child from commercial studies or commerce can give ND exam and get into armed forces to become an officer. Last but not the least, if you want to get into uh, skill-based education, you want to leave mainstream education, you can do a diploma in the area of engineering technology, agriculture sciences, paramedical sciences, rehabilitation sciences, design, fine arts, performing arts, computer applications, event management, travel tourism, foreign language, healthcare and yoga or vocational studies. My piece of advice before I close is Please do not blindly follow friends or trends. I could see on the screen, there are loads of children in the auditorium. And I wish to tell you that the most vulnerable people who can advise you and from whose advice you can listen to are the people sitting just next to you, which are your friends. If you've understood the orientation in the beginning of the presentation carefully, all of you are unique. It is not necessary that your orientation match your best friend or your neighbor. So please don't blindly follow friends and also don't follow trends. It is never that you pick up a career and then you try to fix yourself in it. It may not work that way. It is always that you identify yourself, understand your orientation, personality, aptitude, interest, and based on that, find out a corresponding career and try to fit in. That will give you maximum chances of success. Finally, before I close, uh, I would like to thank uh, Sangeeta Patel, ma'am. I would like to thank Gitanjali, ma'am. I would like to thank management of the Army Public School who has given me this opportunity to connect with you. I am opening the house for questions. If you're still confused, not sure what you want to do, you can connect with me for personal career counseling at 7600-8811. You can follow me, parents or students, on social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, or Instagram. Or you can go to my website, that is mohitmangal.com. Uh, I'll open the house for questions. If there are any questions for online children, you can put it on the chat. And uh, 